Howdy. Okay, so I just seeded this backyard. This is the fun experimentation backyard because it's so small, I can do cool stuff with it. So I'm seeding this with zoysia and a hybrid Kentucky bluegrass. That's gonna be kind of cool. So I'm doing a bunch of stuff today, so hold on. We're gonna talk about fertilizers. We're gonna talk about fall fertilizers, seeding fertilizers, starter fertilizers. I'm gonna do a water test. I'll show you guys a water test on my well water because it's real high in iron. Um, I'm gonna put up a really cool video of some kind of earwig type creature killing an army worm that I caught on my phone. What else? I'm gonna show you a bunch of different little projects I'm going on, but I did wanna let you know. So I've talked about green shocker fertilizer. Green shocker fertilizer will be available for sale on Amazon this coming week. So somewhere between Wednesday and Friday. And I wanna let you guys know this because there's only about 2000 bags and they're just small test bags that you guys can play with and help us out. So it's a all fast release 712. It's instant, goes in within three days, boom. Dark green, lush growth starts. It's really cool product. Go to greenshocker.com, learn more about it. Anyways, let's get going with this video because I got a bunch to talk about. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to put down a fertilizer because it just seeded. What am I gonna put down? I'm gonna put down my number one choice for freshly seeded with it, which is the PGF Balanced. Why? Because it's very mild, it's all fast release, it's a 10-10-10 with micronutrients and iron. It's the perfect seeding fertilizer. Guys, if you're gonna put down any seed, put down a light coat of PGF balance. That's rule number one. Rule number two, learn how to use the green shocker fertilizer. It's not a long-term fertilizer. It's that really fast punch. It takes you 10 minutes to do your whole lawn, seriously. I did my whole lawn in 10, 15 minutes, and you're gonna get that punch of green. Uh, so play with it, it's really cool. So I'm gonna go grab some water real quick. That's the first thing I'm gonna do, and I got some test strips, and let's do this. Okay, so I am gonna be adding an injection system to take care of this iron, high iron problem I have. Iron, the ferrous iron, when it hits the water, it oxidizes and turns to rust. So that's why you get this orange color on anything that's like white. I'm getting ready to put in a white picket fence. Uh, I gotta fix this. So there's an injection system from Riddle Rust. Because my pump is above ground, I can put it on the intake side and it just mixes with the water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick on my water. So I have a hose on the top just on the top valve. Open this up, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend that I have a station five, which I don't. So I'm gonna go to my ratio. I don't have a station five. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run it for one minute. Gonna kick on, and I got water coming out. Now this is nice. You can do this little trick, like if you wanna water your gardens, this is a shallow well pump, and it's pretty good pressure. So basically I'm going to let this run for at least a full minute. You don't want to take the water that's sitting in there. You want to get new water, bringing new water in, and I'm going to test it with several different testers. This was white. You can see it's blue now, and it's telling me that I have... In between 10 and 25, I'm about 15, 10 to 15 parts per million on my iron, which is high, very high. By the way, get yourself a 7 e pad. So here's my sprinkler head right here, okay? And I need to move it all the way back over here so I can shoot this straight line. So I just follow this, kept digging and follow the funny pipe all the way over. I am going to install this. So you can see, there you go. It's pretty simple. Just pull it up and I'm going to reinstall it. Cut it right here. This. Unscrew this. Again, I'm going to take this head and I'm going to clean it out. This. Hopefully they'll just unscrew it all. Ugh. 
gotta pull it. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'll clean all this up and reinstall it. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this. Ah, that should screw back on. Sprinkler head's gonna go there, so screw that back on. Until I feel it start to get tight. And this is where I want to point. But now, I just need to get set in place. Just like that. Then I gotta fill in the rest of them. Okay, so Michael's up there changing the lights. The last thing for me to do is on your hunter heads, the right side is the fixed side. So you have to actually turn the entire head. The left side is adjustable with the screw. So basically I just gotta turn on my system. Much better already. That's a perfect, absolutely perfect. Wow. <laughs> Dude, it's hot. Again, it's not as bad as the other days, but... So, let me explain what I'm doing. I have come through here with my son, Joe, and I have scarified all this once. But the reason why I really did it is I came by here. Remember this crabgrass that was over here that I sprayed? Um, I came by here like three times, and it was so dense and thick. And then I came through and I raked it, and look at this. It's probably full of army worms. But I just pulled this up. And I am going to have some fun. And we're going to play back here. What are you going to do, Doc? We're going to put down two grass seeds just for the hell of it. This is a tiny little area I get to play with it. I want to reseed it every year I can. It does get a fair amount of shade. So what I'm going to do... I found a heat tolerant Kentucky bluegrass and I'm gonna mix that seed with zoysia. What the hell? This is the Zenith zoysia. That's the Zenith zoysia. This, and I'll link to both of these, this is called an SPF 30 hybrid bluegrass. And supposedly it is very heat resistant. So let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out if it works. So uh, I'm just going to spread it out. And then after I get all that seed down, once I get all this seed down, then I'll actually come with um, the Sunjo and scarify this whole thing again. Stop chasing lizards. Anyways, this is what the, this is what the hybrid seed looks like. It's really tiny. Interesting. Okay, <clears throat> so you can see I put down quite a bit of grass seed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use that sun joe and I'm just going to go the other way now and stir it up and you'll see that all this seed basically disappears. course the ground is uneven but you can see that it hides the grass seed fairly well now what I'll probably do is I'll go this way and then I'll come back that way do it again and boom done. and then I actually planted two types of seed and I'll show you that here in a minute but I want to explain a fertilizer myth uh, uh, a plant only needs X amount of potassium to develop strong roots. If you add more than that, it doesn't increase the root development. That's one of the myths, is that if you add a certain element, 
like potassium or phosphorus, add a whole bunch to it, excessive, that you're gonna get um, really strong results. And that's just not true. A plant only needs so much. If you add more than that, it's not gonna use it. Now, the only exception to that would be something like nitrogen or iron. If you add a whole bunch of nitrogen, you can really push green and growth. Iron, you can really get it dark green, but you can also add too much iron and it'll start to turn gray. But basically, when it comes to potassium and phosphorus, you only wanna add what your soil needs, hence the soil test. Back here, I'm putting down, this is the perfect seeding fertilizer. All fast release 10, 10, 10 with micros and iron. It's the only 10, 10, 10 that is designed specifically for lawns that has a super, super fine particle size. I'll show you in a minute. Has micronutrients and iron. It's designed for this exact purpose. It's all fast release. So I'll cut it open and I'm gonna put just a little bit in my spreader so you can see just how fine particles. And the key to this is even distribution. Particles per square inch people, particles per square inch people, particles per square inch people, so important. I will tell you that this is a fantastic garden fertilizer. <laughs> I use this on all my plants and all my gardens. So I've got a little bit left. So now what I'm going to do So right on cue it is critical that you keep new seed wet. Don't let it dry out. And it is babysitting time. I mean, like every three hours, run an irrigation system short. Short, short, short. And it's starting to sprinkle right now. So I've already run my irrigation system once. The seed is down. The fertilizer is down. Um, we're going to get some more rain, and this stuff will pop up. Now, I do want to show you. While I'm walking out front, let me put up that clip. There are army worms everywhere. But the other day I was out on the front lawn and I looked down, there's, I don't know the name of it, it's a big like earwig and it's dragging this army worm through the grass dinner time. It was just the coolest looking thing that this thing was just dragging that army worm, killing it, they were battling. So I'm gonna take you out front and I'm gonna show you the seeding project that was done about two months ago. The lawn has established nicely it's absolutely gorgeous, it's thick. I'm having to cut this lawn about every two or three days. It's so healthy. Um, I do have a few bare spots, but those bare spots we learned were actually from depressions. So those bare spots were actually water pooling areas and we had a bunch of storms. So I went out last week and what we did is we put down more zoysia on the, all the bare spots and then we took some of the dirt, actually the dirt from our French drain system here, and I put about a half an inch of dirt in those areas and I'm getting germination. Let me show you the germination. All right, so here's an example of a bare area that we've put dirt and seed down on to fill these patches up. It's going great. So if you have a new seeding project, it's actually pretty simple. Just come out here get all your weeds dead kill all your weeds put down your seed use a scarifier or rake rake it into the ground keep it wet keep it wet put down pgf balanced on it and uh, you pretty much as long as you're at the right temperature range you're good to go so i'll show you the results on this in a few days talk to you later Die.